Fingers have a special sign I happen to discover They have three fingers in the air And flash it to each other They send their greetings to you They sing them and they shout But if you meet a fixie Please don't let their secret out But if you meet a fixie Please don't let their secret out But if you meet a fixie Please don't let their secret out Telescope. <gasps> Ooh, buggy. <laughs> that was scary. Is Nolik with you? He said he was going to help us out. Whoa, just look at all those stars. It's just like magic, this telescope. Splendid. The simplest telescope is a tube with two lenses. They gather and refract light. We look through a telescope at a faraway moon and see craters, mountains, and crevices on its surface as if they are very close. A telescope helps us examine stars and comets, distinguish the colors and shapes of planets, and find their moons. But it's only possible to look at the sun through a telescope if it has a special filter to protect your eyes from getting damaged. But what's really cool is that it spins! <laughs> <laughs> no, really! Well, should we get going? Aren't we waiting for Nolik? He'll catch up. I'm gonna leave him a note. Nolik, we're in the computer. to our sun is a small planet called Mercury. Then comes the planet Venus, then our Earth, then Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, the furthest planet. Is it possible that life only exists on Earth? So far, not even living bacteria has been found on any of the other planets, let alone human life. But we'd like to believe that deep in space, someone is looking through a telescope, and just like us, dreaming of finding their outer space brethren. That's where it was! Come on out, Fixie Eater. We're gonna need to use live bait. Where are you gonna get it from? It's me? Nolik, he knows you already. Don't be afraid. We won't let him hurt you. There's no way. Fixie Eater, come out right now. Ah! I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of you. B -b Barely. Ah! Help me! Ah! Catching fire! Ugh! I gotcha! It's Buggy. That's who you just caught. 
Peter. Did you see the monster? Look at those jaws. Just like the monster. Nolik, show us where you saw the fixie eater. Up there. I saw him through the telescope. Buggy, could you please go up to that corner over there? Uh-huh. And now yawn. <laughs> Take a look. Buggy, what do you think? The heart. Where's my packet? It's not here either. I think my head's got a screw loose. Oh, Tom Thomas, why are you throwing your stuff around? Oh, because I got a real problem. What is it? I can't decide which club I should pick. Johnny signed up for robotics, and Katya's going to be in chess. You call that a problem? Go with Johnny. And why not Katya? Uh, uh, uh. Then go with chess. But they don't have robots. My mom told me I should listen to my heart. Do you know how to do that? <laughs> I found it. See you. Gotta go. Nolik. Simka can tell you. She knows everything. The heart is the main pump of a living organism. It's a unique muscular organ with a multitude of blood vessels attached to it. The main function of the heart is to continuously move blood throughout the body. The human heart pumps about six liters of blood every minute, even though this pump is not that large. Make a fist. Your heart is about the same size as that. To make sure your heart stays healthy, you need to strengthen it with plenty of exercise and a healthy diet. Nolik, please come help me. Why me? Tool is stronger. Huh? Interesting. And do you know what is meant by the word heartlessness? Well, I think it's uh, some kind of human illness. May I? Tula. Heartlessness is when a human or a fixie leaves someone who has a problem behind. Uh, uh, huh? I... Uh. <laughs> Thank you very much, young man. Uh, I mean, young Fixie. Heartlessness, does it last forever? Of course not. We just need to help one another more often. Uh-huh. Uh, uh. Ah! Tom Thomas, my friend. Here I am. How are you? How am I? Why do you care? Oh, by the way, I found out how you can listen to your heart. You need this tube. It's called a... stethoscope? A stethoscope. But I don't have one. That's what I'm for. <laughs> that thing is way too tiny. Hmm. Ah, your mom must have one. Oh, yeah. Well? It's beating. Loudly. And what is it saying to you? Not a word. And now? It's beating. <coughs> huh? What was that? <coughs> this is just absurd. A heart can't talk. You know what? Why don't you just try again? Tom Thomas. <gasps> Who is that? It's your heart talking. Boom, boom. Can you hear me? Uh-huh. I believe that robotics is right for you. Uh, and what about chess? Who cares about chess? Robots are way cooler. This voice reminds me of someone. Heh, <laughs> so that's what you look like, my itty-bitty heart. Well, I did it from the bottom of my heart. When a human is at rest, his heart beats between 60 and 100 times per minute. This rhythm is called the pulse rate. 
Place two fingers on your wrist or your neck. Can you hear it? Boom, 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 boom. You can count the beats. When you're sleeping, your pulse slows down. But when you get excited, run, or get worried or afraid, your heart begins to beat faster and pumps the blood harder. Sometimes it feels like it's beating so fast that people say, oh, my heart is going to jump out of my chest. But don't be afraid, it's not going anywhere. And when people say, listen to your heart, they don't mean that your heart can talk. It means that you should trust yourself and listen to your feelings. And then you'll definitely find the answer you're looking for. Looks like at the end of the day, I'm heartless. I couldn't help my friend at all. No, Lick, but you helped. You really did. I finally figured out which club I want to join. Robotics, like I told you? Not that. I want to learn medicine. The virus. Tom Thomas, pass him on the turn. Good job. You're almost there. Now put the pedal to the metal. Johnny, you lose. You want to race him again? We can. We just finished the last level. Oh, we were just getting started. Wait a second. Let's see what it says here. Congratulations. Your prize is a smartphone and a collection of brand new levels to race. All right. Class, click on it. It's not smart to just click on random buttons. Hmm. There's nothing to worry about. Whoa. Hey, what's going on? Someone messed with the numbers. There you go. Didn't I warn you guys? Do you think it might have been Johnny? Johnny! Of course! He got upset that we won, so he put on the cap of invisibility. Then he snuck into the room and deleted everything from the computer. Stop! What are you talking about? A cap of invisibility. This has nothing to do with Johnny at all. Looks like you got a virus. Then we need to get Tom Thomas's mom in here. What for? Isn't it obvious? She's a doctor. She'll get rid of this virus in no time. That won't work. Quit it. A computer with a virus isn't treated like that. A doctor won't be able to help here, especially a dentist like your mother. Then who can help us? You need special software for that. Antivirus! A computer virus is a destructive computer program. It can not only delete or steal important information, but completely destroy your computer. And the scariest thing about this virus is that it spreads very quickly and can infect the other computers on the network, very much like a human illness. To find and stop these viruses, you need to use an antivirus program. Antivirus programs also protect computers against new infections. And by the way, your dad's computer uses antivirus software. And mine doesn't have it? No, you won't let anyone near your computer. You never have any time. Dad, let's do it later, okay? I've got to finish one more round. It'll only take a minute. Oh, look at Dad. The virus is starting to wipe out everything now. That means this computer will disappear. And this room, too. And, and all of us. Stop, stop. Quit panicking. We have to save the computer right away. Tom Thomas, your dad has a box with antivirus software. Bring it. Games, music, cartoons. There are so many interesting things on the internet, but just like in the physical world, you have to follow some rules when you're online. First, you should only visit websites that you know. Sometimes a destructive virus could be hiding behind a pretty picture, and there are plenty of scammers on the internet. That's why you should never give anybody you don't know well your address or send an SMS so you can download a free game. If you happen to get a letter or a text from a stranger, you should show it to your parents right away. Only communicate with people that you know. And don't just sit all day playing on the internet. 
There's still nothing better than going outside and playing with friends in the fresh air. That's it! The enemy's destroyed! Well done! Let's check if everything works! to deinstall the software. How come? There's no need. No, we have to. That program should only be installed by an adult. Otherwise, your parents will figure out you got help from Fixies. Sorry about that. All done. And here comes my dad. Dad, will you install this on my computer, please? You need it right away? How about a bit later? No, we can't keep putting it off. There you go. Now your computer is protected. How come you became so responsible all of a sudden? Oh, Dad, you don't know what kind of viruses are out there roaming the net. You're so right. But if you need a fix, please don't let their secret out. 